Hello, it's Mr. Rupps here, and today we're going to talk about diagonalization and transition matrices today. We're first going to talk about the diagonalization of matrices. So just to give you a quick definition, okay? So I know diagonal happen for square matrices, and it's called a diagonal if this, this center diagonal is all values and everything else is zeros. All these entries are zeros. And it could be for any square matrix. We're most concerned, though, in our class, just about a 2 by 2 matrix. And so it's going to be A and B will have values, and these ones will be 0. And so that's what a diagonal matrix is. Okay? And it is M, is diagonalizable, hard to say, if this is true, where P consists of a 2 by 2 matrix, in our case, where x1 is the eigenvector for the eigenvalue lambda1, and x2 is the eigenvector for the eigenvalue of lambda2. And so these are eigenvectors, and they create the matrix P. And so the diagonal is equal to the inverse of P times n times P, and we can get the diagonalized matrix of M. So let's actually try an example and see if we can make some sense of this definition. So we know, it is known, that the eigenvalues are 1 and negative 3. And so with those eigenvalues, they also have corresponding vectors of 3, 1, and negative 1, 1 for matrix M. So I want to find D. Well, from our definition above, D is equal to the inverse of P times n times p. So I need to find what p is. Well, p, I'm told, is going to be the eigenvector of the first one, so 3, 1, and a and negative 1, 1. And so this is p created by these eigenvectors. p inverse, we use our inverse formula. And so when we do the inverse formula, we have to recognize that we are going to take our values, switch our 1 and our 3, and change the sign on these values here. So it becomes that. And I have to multiply by 1 over the determinant. And the determinant is going to be 3 times 1, subtract 1 times negative 1. So that is 4. So it's 1 divided by 4. So this is the entire inverse of P. So we set this up, and I can say 1 quarter times 1, negative 1, 1, 3, times 0, 3, 1, negative 2, and times 3, negative 1, 1, and 1. The order that we write it is important, but the order that we choose to multiply it in, we could multiply these two first or these two first, that doesn't matter. I will keep the 1 quarter until the very end outside, and we'll deal with that at the last bit. So I'm going to multiply these first two, the inverse times m. So I get 1 times 0 plus 1 times 1 gives me 1, 1 and 3, and that gives me 1 also, negative 1 times 0 plus 3, and negative 3 plus a negative 6 gives me negative 9. And hopefully by this time, you are quite good at multiplying matrices by hand. Um, it's a skill that is quite essential to matrices. And so I get 3 plus that is 4. I get negative 1 plus 1 is 0. I get 9 minus 9 is 0. And I get negative 1, my, or sorry, negative 3 minus 9 more is negative 12. And so now I'm going to multiply the 1 quarter in. And so when I do that, I get 1, 0, 0, negative 3. And so here is my diagonal matrix D. And so one thing I want you to recognize, though, if we look to what we have up here, our eigenvalues are Specifically, they are these values. Here is my eigenvalue of 1, here, negative 3, here. That is not a coincidence. 
Okay, so hopefully you recognize that. And so always now what I can say is if I'm going to generalize it, I can say that D is always equal to lambda 1, 0, 0, and lambda 2. And so this is by definition the matrix of D. And so getting our eigenvalues helps us find D without doing the calculation, though this is how D is defined by.